This is Gary Schnitke, and we are going to discuss the 2018 Farm Bill What If tool. That tool can be used to make decisions for our March 15th, 2021 deadline. By that date, everybody can change their decisions relative to PLC and ARC County and ARC at the individual level. By program crop, Farmers can change PLC or our county, or they can choose to enroll their entire farm in ARC IC. Again, that decision will be made by March 15, 2021, for the 2021 cropping year. To aid in those decisions, we have released our 2018 Farm Bill What If tool. You can get that by going to Farm Doc Daily and look at the tools uh, menu at the very top of the screen. Hit that, bring down the menu, and go to the very bottom, and you'll see ARC PLC calculators. We have two, and the one that is an Excel tool that we will be talking about today is the 2018 Farm Bill What If tool. This is a Microsoft Excel sheet, if you download or click on this 2018 Farm Bill What If tool link, you will download that spreadsheet to your computer. When you open the 2018 Farm Bill What If tool into Excel, you will see this screen, which will give you the date it has been last updated. And if you click Continue, you will go to our 2018 ARC County PLC What If Comparison. There are two other tools here which are listed on the menu. We are going to focus on the ARC County PLC Comparison. When you go there, you can make your selection of state, county, crop, and here we have Illinois, McDonough County, and corn. You will be given a practice and for McDonough County, the only practice is all. Some counties will have irrigated and non-irrigated. And you will enter the farm-specific PLC yield. Again, what this tool will do will calculate payments of PLC and our county for different county yields and market year average prices. We are currently doing this for 2021 because that's the years we selected here, 2021. You also have the ability to do 2020 and 2019. 2019 will show actual results, so it will bring in the actual yields and count and, and price. 2020, later this year, you, there will potentially be a payment. You can see what those payments would be under different county yields and market year average prices. We bring in a county yield and a price. Our default county yield is 220 bushels per acre, and our price is $4. Those two entries, county yield and price, do not result in any payments. PLC will begin to make payments when market year average price is below the effective price which is 370 for corn. If we enter 360, we will get a market uh, PLC payment of $15. For our county, at that yield, you have to go below $3.20 before our county will be, make a payment. 315, for example, will begin to develop a payment, $6. Going back, we can hit use defaults and we, you'll get Defaults brought back in. If we're looking at yields, lowering yields, and holding the market year average price constant will do, will, can result in a P, our county payment. 170, for example, would generate an our county payment of $17. 175 would be zero. So you can use this tool to look at different payments for PLC and our county for the 2021 marketing year.